Good morning, everybody. It's me again. Got another load of these rolls right over here. It's going to Wapton, North Dakota again. So we got Pedro here in front of me. We got a couple of my other co-workers down the street. They're going to be loading as well. I think we're all going to the same place. I can see four of us here right now. Uh, just waking up, trying to figure out where I am. I checked in already, so uh, whenever they're ready for me, they'll come grab me, pull me in there. And we can get this day on the road. After today, instead of coming back here again, after today, I go back home. There's a couple of you that live out in the Carmen area. You guys are coming and said hi to me throughout the week. I appreciate that. Made my day. We just stopped at Tim Hortons here. We are ready to go. I'm just gonna go and turn myself around so I can head back the other direction. I'm facing uh, down, what is this? Is this Highway 3? I don't know, I want to go down through Winkler anyway, so. Oh, 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 yes. line it straight home probably gonna be home tonight around uh, I'd say uh, it's gonna be later probably like 9 or 10 I'll say 10 o'clock then when I'm home earlier I look good you know too often in the past I'm, I'm like yeah I'll be home for supper end up coming through the door at like 11 30 I don't want to get anyone's hopes up we'll be home late we'll just say that okay between 10 o'clock and midnight. Anything before that, it's a surprise. A pleasant, good surprise. I'm just going around the parking lot here, if you're wondering. Turning around in their parking lot here and then headed back the other way out of Carmen. They have a drive-in here, right beside Tim Hortons. Uh, what is this called, Sills? Sids? What is it Sills? S-Y-L apostrophe S? I had breakfast there on Tuesday. Wow, really good food, really good food. So you can come here, get your breakfast at Sills, walk across the parking lot, get your coffee at Tim's. That is a that is a magnificent start to any day. I'll give them a shout out any day. That's their sign right there. Look for that sign. You know there'll be good food.
up my straps, my system is, I take them off of the load, wherever they were, you know, like there's a strap coming down here, right? Come up here and I just hang them on the trailer. Wherever I take them off, hang them on the trailer, just like I hung these on the trailer here, right? Then when I'm ready to roll them up like this, I start on the driver's side, right over there, and I walk around the trailer and I drag them all the way around here all at once so that I only have to touch them once to bring them here. And I only have to walk around the truck once to bring them here. I have them all neatly by the hooks so that they're all organized like this, somewhat. And then I roll them up here. Work smarter, not harder. You only want to touch them once if you have to. Or you don't want to touch them twice if you don't have to. You don't want to touch them three times if you don't have to. So now, I brought them here. I grab them by the end, by the hook. They go like this. Just to make sure that there's no twists in them. That there's no damages on them. Get to the end here. Roll it up. This whole process can be done right here. I don't have to move around and go and get my straps, right? The farmers are keeping real busy. Here comes another one. It's harvest season. There's some skinny tires on that tractor, right? Eh? Must be for a certain kind of crop or something. You want the numbering and the lettering on the outside so that when you're finished rolling it up, it looks like this, that the hook is facing in like that. Then when you go to throw it, the next time you want to use it, you grab this and you hold it with your left hand and it's much easier, much easier to throw it like this and let it roll off your hand to get it over the load. If you roll it up backwards, you're stuck with the strap like this and you're throwing it like this over to make it roll, right? It's an unnatural throwing position to me. You want it like this so that it, you can flick your wrist and it unrolls over the freight. When you're finished rolling it up, it should look like that. That way, all the writing and all the material you need to know what the strap can hold is all on the outside and it's ready to throw again on the next load. I see a lot of guys who roll them up backwards and I, I don't know why. Nothing against you guys. I don't know why you do that though. Much easier to do it this way. And it's much easier to throw it over the load if you roll it up this way, in my opinion. It's up to you though. I mean, I mean I'm gonna tell you what works best for me, but there's no right or wrong way to roll up a strap. You do you. That's what I usually say. There's no right or wrong way of doing things usually. But very often there's an easier way and a harder way. And there's a more convenient way and a less convenient way. And once you find a more convenient way that takes less effort or less work or that just works better, you don't want to go back to doing it the old way. Got some bugs that are... Whew. Sorry, I got distracted. I had a bug in on my head and then I got distracted by the beautiful song of those tires humming by. Did you hear that? That was beautiful. That was beautiful. Perfect harmony. That's good stuff. So I'm gonna roll this one up again one more time and I'll show you. When you're finished, it should look like that. So when you're going over your strap like this, you're making sure that there's no tears, no rips, no damages. You're also making sure that it's straight, not all twisted up. You get to the end here, and usually, you know, you have those that center line down one side, right? You're looking at your strap roller here. You want that colored line and the top of it with the writing on the outside facing you. Put it in here. I'm gonna hold you in here. In between, my chin, and then you go. You see? And try not to step on it because that slows you down.
rolled up, ready to go. Right. Yeah, right. That's it for this week. We just gotta go home now. Let's let's set the GPS, shall we? Let's set it to home. U.S. roads take me home. Proceed to the highlighted route. You guys got big plans for your weekend? We have mushrooms growing in our yard. Turn right. And my job this weekend is to get rid of them. Because the dogs like to eat them and they're not supposed to eat them. It could make them very sick. I'm not sure what kind of mushrooms they are, but I don't want them growing wild in my yard. It's wild and free, just hanging out. Woo! No, not in my yard. If I didn't plant you, no business growing there, you know what I mean? That makes sense, right? Oh, it smells like rain now. Ooh, that's coming quick. Quick day, no wasting time today. I wanna to go home. So I've got my laundry all kicked out of the truck here already. A couple of towels. These are my floor towels. All of my floors in the truck always have blue towels. So I'm always stepping on towels and no shoes in my truck. So it keeps the original flooring, which is just that rubber flooring. Keeps it clean, it's much easier to clean this way. This way on the weekends, I just take my towels home and I wash them instead of having to, you know, like scrub out the truck because in the sleeper it's a rug i'd like to put laminate flooring in there yet eventually like waterproof laminate or something or water resistant whatever they call it but ah, we'll get to that eventually there's so many things i want to do to this truck uh it's hard to know even where to start but i'm not going to think about that tonight just got to get this stuff in the pickup and go home it's been a good week it's been a really good week busy good night old blue it's been a good week You guys want to see how happy the dogs are going to be? <laughs> they always give the best welcomes after a trip. <gasps> Who's that in there? Who's this in there? Whose snout is that? Whose snout is that? <laughs> hey guys. Hey guys. Is the gate closed? Hey guys. Watch out. Watch out. I'm going inside. You coming in? Come on. I think we left one out there. Hey guys. Hey guys. Hey Chevy. Hey Chevy. Diesel went to go get me his favorite toy, I bet. What's your favorite toy this week? I bet I bet it's the big bone. What's he gonna bring? Diesel, what you got? 